Well, good morning, friends. I have a, a message for you this morning. This might look funny to you. Yeah, because it's just an all brown wall. And this all brown wall is not very exciting. Even if you throw in a little bit of embellishment on it. I mean, yeah, it looks nicer, of course. But I want to show you the possibilities and really what God had in his heart when he began to bring forth more variety. Not this. This is kind of boring too, isn't it? Or this. This is kind of boring too, isn't it? I mean, even if you gave it a little bit of pattern, I mean, that could make it a little more exciting. But I want to show you what I mean. Yeah. So I hope some of you are literally getting the picture because this shows the beauty and the blessing of each part and each color and all its variations to bring together something that you could have never imagined could be brought together with all of these colors if you were just used to seeing this all the time. So I'm gonna stand back so you can get a good picture of what I mean. This is a city mural. Amazingly beautiful, ornate, tells the story of the history of Monterey and is made up of so many different colors. It's absolutely so fun. It's all tile. But it's just a reminder to me. You know, if I walked up and this tile was missing, Say, for instance, this family didn't come to church. <laughs> Can you imagine like a big white square right here in the midst of this picture? It would just look wrong because each one of us has a special part in the story of the Lord. And each one of us has a special part in the body of Christ. Each one of us placed in the body as it pleased the Lord. So you are special, you are unique. No one can do your part for you or in place of you. You're precious to the community, you're precious to God, and you are absolutely, amazingly, fearfully, wonderfully made. Thank you for being a blessing to me. I love you and I hope you have a great and glorious, love-filled and victorious day for now. Bye, my friends.